So just so that we can have uh, access to the edit page, we're going to modify the index page, which lists um, pages a little bit. So instead of just outputting the title, we're going to add in two more links, uh, a link there that just um, says edit. So that will link to the edit page for the pages. Okay. So let's uh, push these um, P tags down like this. And then instead of just outputting the title, we're going to output it inside a span. So let's do a closing span here. And then next, let's open a link here. And the href uh, will be forward slash pages, forward slash edit. And then a uh, query param of ID equal to, let's open a PHP tag here. Then we're going to say echo, and then page, and then um, ID. Okay, so this has to be single quotes. And then we're just going to close that PHP here okay so the text for that is going to be edit and let's give it a class so that bootstrap styles it nicely the class will be um btn and then btn uh, primary okay so let's go to our page which lists list of pages and see what we have there now as you can see we have an edit button right next to each of um, the pages so let's go ahead and see whether we can um edit this first page here so it says unexpected um bracket on line 25 on the edit page let's see what uh, that error means so line 25 if page published equal to one okay so let's see one echo oh we have this uh, bracket here shouldn't be there we only needed this one so i'm going to remove that and refresh this page call to undefined function get page Okay, so let's see um, get page. So we are um, calling this function get page, but we haven't created it. All right. So let's go to our functions.php and create that function. Okay. So let's come here, functions, function, and then get page. And that's um, you only receive one argument of ID. So um, I'm just going to do PDO equals to DB colon colon get connection. Okay. Let's just say um, SQL equals to select star from pages where ID equals to and then a uh, bound parameter ID. So we're just going to say so result equals to PDO query and then SQL. Okay. Let's just return result okay so now let's go over to our edit page and when i refresh now we have this um, page here okay but as you can see now that um, properties are not being filled in for title so let's see why that is let's head over to our edits at the top here so after we've gotten the page let's do a var dump okay of page see what's inside a variable there so i refresh as you can see bool false okay so apparently something is going wrong inside of this get page here so we're getting the connection select uh, star from pages where id equals id okay so i did remember um that when you're doing uh, a select statements or sql statements where in you have to bind to parameters you cannot just do a query you have to um use the prepare method okay so let's say statement equals to pdo prepare sql okay so let's say statement execute and then we're just gonna have to pass it an array here which is just a uh, id with binding to the um id value passing at the top here so let's say id and that's going to return us a result let's just say return um let's say row equal to result fetch okay so we're gonna fetch one row so let's just return row okay so back to our editor here sorry our browser to refresh as you can see it says undefined variable statement on line 146 so let's see what we have there Undefined variable statement should be statement or statement. Refresh. 
call to a member function to fetch on boolean okay actually you should not call the fetch on the result um, here you should call it on statement after you execute a statement you say statement fetch should not be result okay so we do not need this result at all and um, yeah so let's come here refresh and now let's remove the var dump at the top here because we no longer need it okay refresh and now we can populate the page title okay so let's do it page title um, let's say blog post one see whether that's updated as you can see it is updated now when we go to the pages list here you'll see blog post one let's edit this one and set this published to um, not published so let's update that let's come back to the list of pages as you can see now it is still um, titled page two but we go to edit the published property here um, the input field will not be checked okay so um, that's it for this video um, wherein we added edit functionality for pages and I thank you for watching I will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye